Andreas, great question here. Is there a team room like Zoom? Uh, so a permanent room where I can invite you over and over uh, or a workout? You know, that last part. You, you lost me at that. You had me with permanent room. You lost me with workout. Is that a thing <laughs> in Zoom? Is that a branding thing? Like, I'm not even aware, but. I, I wonder feel, I feel that's like, a spelling. I feel like word. he's saying like, or maybe like a work, like a, like a huddle a room or something. Yeah, yeah. workspace. A workspace. Yeah. I like to think the best of fun. It's probably like spell so. check. Like probably like his keyboard helped him out, you know, yeah. with the word that doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't know. I, so, I'm just yeah, picturing yeah. dumbbells and, you know, a whole room where we can go <laughs> together and work out. That's what I see. <laughs> well, I, my first thought of this is like, well, depending on what you're trying to do. I mean, if I'm if it's the three of us and we have a repeat location, it's called a chat. And we just have a chat where we have our ongoing uh, conversation, the text-based conversation. We pop in and out of meetings when we need to, so we have the video component, but that's a chat provides that. What else, what are your other answers for that? I like a recurring meeting. So if it's a standardized meeting that everybody attends and it just happens on the same recurring basis, you can create a recurring meeting and it keeps the same meeting ID in the meeting space. The chat stays persistent and you just keep reusing the same one over and over. There's another option. Yeah, I think if you got the same people, chat's great. If you might have different people coming in and out especially, then the recurring meeting is nice because essentially the link stays the same. And I believe, I can't remember the exact number of days, but as long as you click on that link every so many days, it will actually kind of stay active forever um, as long as it's on a recurring meeting schedule. Um, and now we've got Teams Premium. Um, and so we have Teams, actual Teams rooms um, that can be a license that is dedicated essentially to a location that will allow you to essentially, you know, spin up a meeting in that space um, at any given time. But for the, you know, it's the same, it's the same dedicated um, meeting space for every single time you use it. So that it doesn't really matter who's using it. It's a, a resource as opposed to um, just a link. So it's like it's like having a you know it's it's a conference room, you know a virtual conference room a virtual conference room instead yes. of yeah. So there's I mean things to think about too. Like if you are doing just a persistent chat, um, it's a little more difficult if people are added or removed and the security of the information that's being used. I mean it's chat is pretty open. Anybody um, that is added in the chat, then you know um, do you give them access to all of the prior conversation? Um, they also then have, because it's an exchange-based protocol, There's they'll have some of that information local. So if you're sharing and things, then they then have copies of all of those things uh, individually, where if it's within the recurring meeting, um, that's more of the threaded discussion, um, you've got more security uh, uh, you know, that you can put in place around the treatment and the sharing of that information. Um, in both cases, you have tabs and other things that you can add in that, again, will be persistent for all those meetings. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do. And I think the one we really haven't talked about at all that I think is probably one of the coolest is the channel meetings. So speaking mm. of working out, um, I had a client that essentially they provide their own um, workout uh, sessions and they wanted to share those live. Um, and they wanted to record them so that if, you know, their um, if their end users wanted to watch them later, they could go back in and look at them. But they wanted a way that it would actually happen automatically and store it all in the same place. Um, so one of the things that people don't realize is that if you go into a Teams channel, you can add a meeting to that channel. And so anybody who has access to the channel can just simply click on that meeting. Um, and it it you can schedule it for a certain time, but you can always go in and out of that meeting whenever you want. And you can schedule it to like record at certain times. And if it records automatically, you can it'll automatically dump it into the files for that particular Teams channel, which is really handy. So that's what we did is we essentially set up the Teams channel meetings to be at the time that the fitness classes were going to be. We set them to auto record and then they automatically went into the files for that team. And so basically, if you wanted to go to this class, you could just go to that channel, click on the meeting and watch it. Um, but those channel meetings are super neat because 
they live inside the channel. So anybody who has access to the channel can use them at any time. I, I like to call those passive meetings. They're not people are not actively invited. They're just kind of on their calendar and they can join if they need to. But you know, you don't get invitations. You can't RSVP for those if it's just in the channel meeting, unless you're actually in the two line or the you know, the optional or the required line for those meetings. But I, I like them for those passive meetings that people can hang out and join if they want to. Yep. The person, the other link is the meet now. And I'm asking this, I, I it came to mind that you, when you have the meet now, it creates a meeting link. Is that a persistent link that people could reuse over? It's good for a certain amount of time. I'd have to look up to see exactly how long okay. it's good for, but when you do the meet now, essentially what you're doing is creating an immediate meeting. Um, and I believe the link persists for a certain amount of time. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, my, my first thought was that it's, I mean, cause it opens up and it shows like it would be within your, uh, within your history, your activity feed, like a chat would be, but whether that then ends and it's, it's something, can you reopen or not? I, like I, don't think so, but mm, I'd have to go and check. I'm going to have to go play with it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. According to this, yeah. uh, it expires after eight hours. There you go. Oh, okay. So that would not be an option. <laughs>